So the next speaker we have with us is Mr. Pradeep Kumar Panda. He is an economist, author, columnist, and development professional. He'll be speaking on a very pertinent issue that is macroeconomic crisis of COVID-19. He is awarded with National Youth Icon Award 2019, Best Writer Award 2019, Best Young Researcher Award 2016, University Achievers Award 2008, and there is the list goes on and on and on. And he has published around 17 books. He is a columnist in Hans India, Orissa Post newspaper, and Viro annotations, Geography and You, and published over 100 articles in the area of gender equality. We are privileged to have you with sir, with us, sir. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much. Sir. Yeah. Namaskar. Thank you so much for having. Thank you, Guhar, for this wonderful opportunity of conducting this national webinar. This will certainly help everyone. And thank you all the participants for your active and enthusiastic participation. I'll be speaking more on macroeconomic uh, crisis or the present situation of the Indian economy. Generally, when you see business cycle, macroeconomy uh, condition is known from the business cycle of an economy. Generally, business cycle mein kya hota hai? Do panch phages hota hai. It would be uh, first is inflation when there is high price rise. Then uh, as in price rise declines, it's a recession and gradually it goes to depression, the uh, lowest, lowest point of the economy. Then it comes to recovery and then uh, again the inflation. So abhi, uh, for the timing, if, you, if we consider this is COVID pandemic is a depression kind of thing. So we are the our economic activities is going down. So we are at the end. Uh, uh, we are going down in the economy, and further it has to be. It will accelerate it and worsen further. So um, going by the uh, economic terminology, it's a depression. Like we had depression, Great Depression of 1930s, and a depression kind of thing. And the indicators for uh, this macroeconomic crisis, we know the, the indicators of uh, macroeconomics. First one is gross domestic product growth rate, GDP growth rate. GDP growth rate ko mana jata hai ki ye indication de deta hai ki economy kis tarap ja raha hai. Sakele u ghar up baat bolte hai. So GDP growth rate is estimated, uh, is expected to grow at 1.2 percent according to IMF. Bohut saare economists even usko bhi doubt kar rahe because bohut uh, lockdown situation ne economy is almost in standstill. So uh, the thing is that uh, uh, it is expected to, uh, some are saying it is even grow around 0.8%. That is not only for India, but also for the world. According to IMF estimate, world will grow at 3.2% less. So it's global situation and we are part of that. So GDP growth rate will decline. That is the first indicator. Then inflation, currently inflation is at 3.34%, but that will go down because uh, a lot of uh, there is no demand from the market, so it will go down. Then, uh, according to all the uh, according to all the uh, situations, fiscal deficit is under the indicator. According, fiscal deficit is around three point five percent estimated for this year, but. According to the the, uh, the uh, stimulus package given by announced by the honourable prime minister and finance minister, twenty lakh, twenty thousand lakh crores, th that will take it to further level. So fiscal deficit may go to seven percent. Then primary deficit that is at 0.4 percent, revenue deficit is 2.4 percent. Or saving and investment is around. Uh, stagnant, stabbing or investment both had gay. And it was earlier before also, even before pandemic, the growth rate of saving and investment was stagnant. The current account deficit is point, around 0.2%. Uh, us, import jada ho hai, export kam ho hai. So, uh, current account deficit uh, grow kar hai. And we have a uh, $1.4 billion 
current account deficit amounts. So that also we have to cover. Then a uh, date to GDP ratio. Ab, ab, koi economy kitna strong hai? Ye date to GDP ratio se pata chalta hai. Date to GDP ratio of Indian economy is around 69%. So we have no more. Matlab hamare date borrowing karne ka itna capacity nahi hai. But we had a announcement from the World Bank. They will assist India with one billion. The uh, one billion dollar uh, for this uh, crisis. Then Indian economy. Generally, Indian economy is a primarily service sector economy. Everybody knows service sector contributes around sixty percent of the economy. Or us may be FMCG sector, farm fast moving moving consumer uh, goods. Us may jada uh, contribution karta hai. Then comes industry around thirty percent and agriculture as. We know its lowest around 16 percent. But in agriculture, the labor force is more. Around 60 percent of the Indian economy is dependent on the labor force. So, uh, and uh, uh, the current situation of unemployment is uh, terrific, horrible. Abhi recently, according to recent Center for Monitoring Indian Economy data, around 12 crore Indian have lost the job. Many many sector ko badly hit hue hai. The top The five or six uh, sectors which are badly hit are travel and tourism. Travel and tourism sector को सबसे बड़ा झटका लगा है. Almost उनके uh, they are, they are saying that 10 lakh crore का नुकसान हुआ है and they have lo lost 3.8 crore jobs in this period. और आगे को और वो होने वाला है if it is it is not opening. Then comes FMCG, fast moving consumer goods uh, sector. Hospitality sector also, um, they have lost five lakh crore jobs. This is a huge amount, and it contributes more to the economy. Then hotel and restaurant, uh, every, every everything is closed, so there is not much of a demand. So hotel and restaurant industry, uh, there is a uh, the loss is estimated five lakh crore and uh, around five million, and there is job loss of five uh, five lakh crores. Similarly, automobile industry. Automobile industry has lost five crore job. Just like my uh, previous Sudhan Sujji was saying, not a single car is sold during this period. But there is a good sign. Recently, I have saw the picture in Aaj Tak that uh, uh, recently in two three days in Maranesar plant of Maruti Sujji, they have produced one uh, uh, car. So it is picking up because uh, sector has opened. Then construction and real real estate sector is badly hit because there is no activity, so it has uh, uh, lost many jobs. Then, then MSME sector. MSME sector is the backbone of Indian economy. It contributes thirty percent of GDP uh, in the sector, and it employs mo around more than seventy percent because Indian mm -hmm. economy, the informal sector contribution is more than formal sector. Eighty percent is. Almost informal sector, ninety percent you can say, ten percent is formal sector. So the informal sector comes from MSME, which are small petty, जो भी छोटे-छोटे दुकानदार होते हैं, all the service one plot thing. So they contribute most. So this is the situation. The situation is gloomy, but not uh, 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 not. This is challenging, but not impossible. जैसे बोला जाता है माय प्रीवियस स्पीकर्स आर आल्सो टोल्ड दिस थिंग व्हेन व्हेन गेट्स टफ टफ गेट्स गोइंग जहां चैलेंजेस होता है वहां अपॉर्चुनिटी होता है बिजनेस साइकिल में जब डिप्रेशन होता है देन द व्हेन इकोनॉमी मूव्स इकोनॉमी जब मूव करता है देन इट स्टार्ट्स पिकिंग अप और बिकॉज हमारे पास बहुत लोगों का पास डिमांड होगा पेंट अप इट इज कॉल्ड पेंट अप डिमांड हमारे पास बहुत डिमांड है व्हेन ग्रेजुअली इट ओपन्स अप द Uh, sudden effect will be more. Generally, when there is lockdown, um, there is mul uh, negative multiplier effect. Production ban ho gaya, production ban ho gaya, to consumption ban ho gaya, consumption ban ho gaya, to unemployment ho gaya. Then low demand. This is vicious circle. Similarly, when economy opens, it will be advanced super multiplier effect. When economy opens, production will be there. When production will be there, there will be employment. Employment, there will be money. Then uh, there will be consumption. Again, the, there will be demand. So the uh, cycle will go in forward direction. So there is lots of hope when the economy opens. It will give a lot of opportunity. But for that, 
will need some some of the legislation some of the policy measures and instant policy measures first and foremost jitna uh, according to us is econo- uh, first uh, priority will be the uh, to solve the distance distress migration hum dekh rahe tv mein bahut afsos hota hai jab hum pictures dekhte hain lakhon log chal ke ja rahe aur they uh, 3 200 km 300 km so without everything so they are going distress migration they are going to their village that problem has need to be solved by providing some quick finance uh, financial assistant that is fiscal stimulus every person has to be supported with some monetary scheme so that unke at least uh, they can sustain this uh, crisis period kuch monetary stimulus chahiye then that has to come to directly to their account so that they can spend it if they'll spend then the economy will pick up Be- because maine jaise bola tha arts is more more most service sector economy service sector economy mein consumption bahut important hota hai so it starts with the demand when you consume more and more the economy gradually picks up so the focus should be to give fiscal stimulus or monetary uh, uh, support directly in, in the banks of uh, all the uh, persons who have lost their jobs the daily labor sir jandhan account scheme the, uh, gradually and to back up that we have to also provide the food support immediate food support fci uh, with the help of their distribution network fci food corporation of india has a network across india with their warehouses so fci can, can play a vital role in supplying the already uh, food stocks to the needy person based on our government system whoever the uh, they, uh, whoever needs the uh, thing that has to be stimulated further and many governments have also launched like odisha government has launched delhi government has launched that uh, coupon system where they can have the food so first thing is to uh, to um, uh, satisfy their consumption demand so they can live jaan hai to jahan hai modi ji bol rahe abhi jaan hai bhi jaan bhi aur jahan bhi so first we have to satisfy their uh, basic emerging need that is food and nutrition uh, food and nutrition ke baad aayega employment employment what we have to do we have to <coughs> meet employment in the informal sector of the economy through mg energies mg energies has the potential to give employment to 10 lakh crore indians so uh, they they uh, and it will be boost to every migrant worker jo bhi log kaam karna chahte hai mg energies scheme abhi in some of the state it has already opened so it has to be opened in pan india level jitna aap pan india mein mg energies scheme ko launch karenge then you will uh, basically uh, get the income jab income aayega consumption hoga then as i said the forward multiplier will act and uh, we will see the recovery in the economy similarly uh, in uh, there should be public investment in infrastructure sector because jab economy down hota hai then there will be no private investment because the system uh, uh, dumb uh, pessimistic rehta hai there is no profit so private sector is will not come up so it is the time for public investment पब्लिक इन्वेस्टमेंट जब आता है देन इट ड्राइव प्राइवेट इन्वेस्टमेंट क्राउडिंग इन इफेक्ट पब्लिक इन्वेस्टमेंट जब आएगा चीजें इकोनॉमी मूव करेगी देन प्राइवेट इन्वेस्टमेंट विल फॉलो दैट सो बट द स्टार्ट हैज टू बी फ्रॉम द पब्लिक सेक्टर द गवर्नमेंट गवर्नमेंट शुड स्टार्ट कंस्ट्रक्शन एक्टिविटीज द ऑल द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एक्टिविटीज रोड रेलवे दिस कंस्ट्रक्शन फॉलोइंग द सोशल डिस्टेंस guideline usko follow karke and there are some uh, some of the guideline that they'll also provide employment to female laborers in night uh, wherever needed according to the, the the guideline that has to be there then the, uh, all this lead will lead to demand generation jab demand generate hoga then uh, economy will pick up and uh, we'll uh, see some some of the good things 
then at macroeconomic level what the o o government should do uh, coming uh, to uh, the stimulus package government has to we know there is a, a limit on the government spending because there is fiscal deficit uh, rule that is known as frbm fiscal responsibility and budgetary management government can't spend on matlab jitna much marzi wo spend nahi kar sakte there has to be limit according to budget according to budget there is a rule that fiscal deficit has to be 3% of the uh, gdp it has is to, has to be limited uh, this year's target was 3.5% fiscal deficit target so immediately what we should do we should change frbm act change frbm act and increase it the limit to some percent so that government will get some fund and it can spend accordingly so frbm rule has to be changed then similarly primary fiscal uh, primary deficit revenue deficit rule has to be changed second uh, uh, second uh, after that there should be as uh, said by previous speaker there has to be multiple economic reforms multiple economic reforms like land reforms all these reforms at the same time uh, uh, one another no? if there will be a multiple economic reform it it will have multiple effect on the economy so that has to be taken care of and after that there will be a debt problem G generally jaise maine bola debt to gdp ratio of indian economy is around 70% so we have no room for more debts so what we have to do is monetization of deficit we have to arrange fund monetization of deficit means we, we have we can go for some printing of some printing of notes and some public borrowing public borrowing will be difficult because more people don't have purchasing power right now but some of some of the uh, persons if they have it can go for that uh, open market operation government can go for expansory fiscal policy and monetary policy generally government operates uh, in the market through two mediums one is fiscal policy through which uh, uh, public investment and expend public spending and expenditure government borrowing and expenditure is measured and government can pump up the money in the um, public through public investment and also it can take money through some sub of the measures so accordingly uh, it can be expansionary fiscal policy or contractionary right now it should be expansionary fiscal policy government should invest more and more by going for uh, open market operation by giving more money now all the states are uh, demanding that whatever their uh, pending money should be given like gst money is pending with the government that money should immediately be given to the states and all the mgnrs backlog that is with uh, state government that has to also be cleared with immediate effect because if money will go state governments will also be able to spend on economic activities so all the pending uh, money that lies with the government of india and uh, the pending uh, money from public also there is uh, a lot of refund request in income tax to the tune of 1 lakh crore that has to immediately given all the purchases uh, whose money lies with the government that has to be immediately uh, financed so that they'll get some money when they'll get money that they'll give the money in the hands of consumer when consumer gets money generally they consume and the economy cycle moves similarly expansionary fiscal policy it has to be also addressed by expansionary monetary policy the general monetary policy of the economy is controlled by central bank of india in our case reserve bank of india reserve bank of india controls money circulation through its repo rate uh, uh, all the um, repo rate bank rate this measures so it has to relax the repo rate it has to uh, generally situation is should be created so that they, people should take have more money banks should have more money so that they can get, go for credit creation or instant multiplier money effect 
when there will be credit creation at the bank level there will be more loans more loans means more consumption types of different loan and at the same time the rate of interest should be low so that it it has to be affordable like msme sector they have announced 8 lakh crore credit guarantee scheme in which msme sector can take loan without any condition without any condition so they should be given a uh, money without any condition because the situation is very they can't provide collaterals they can't give higher interest rate initially it has to be uh, given with low interest rate and no collateral free loan gradually it has to be uh, summed up with the market linkage whatever they are producing that, that has to be marketed by all the our food corporation of india and all the our im hat agriculture sector has need to be supported with the uh, increase in minimum support price all their produce should be uh, marketed by the uh, government of india and various state governments monetary policy expansionary monetary policy and expansionary fiscal policy will help the economy to pump up more money in the market when there will be more money in the market there will be circulation and gradually it will pick up from where it is at the state right now it has stagnant but there are some hopes because we, we are seeing the opening of economy mgnrs is work is allowed uh, some uh, in after lockdown 3 then agriculture activity is allowed some uh, plants have started uh, pradeep ji please conclude yes 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 sir sure, sure. so um, basically the point uh, to think about right now is first demand generation instant monetary supports to all the migrant labor so that they'll stop migrant labor so that they have to do through instant monetary support through their bank account without any delay otherwise it will be very difficult to control the situation then that has to be backed by expansionary monetary policy fiscal policy public investment and that will lead to demand generation and gradually it will pick up the economy so focus should be on demand generation public investment and monetary support sorry for taking much time no. thank you so much uh, no. thank you so no. much uh, thank pleasure. you thank you thank you pradeep ji it's very informative although you have touched almost each and every aspects of the economical development and almost all basic point which is the need of an hour and as you have very much discussed that how the laborers problem uh, need to be addressed how the government should push it further but you as you understand time constant is uh, there otherwise you would like to love listen okay. to something okay. more okay. what you would have okay. so okay. again uh,